Here we are in our daily devotion, learning all about the wisdom of God. In this particular period, we're gaining insight into God's philosophical wisdom in which he explains to us the right ways in which we should be thinking about the world in which we live, thinking about life, thinking about uh, the world around us, thinking about how we should be acting and being and doing and what's meaningful in life. And we find all of this wrapped up in that very special book called Ecclesiastes. We have been in Ecclesiastes chapter 1 now for uh, 19 days. This is our 19th day. Uh, and we're in verse 11, the second part of verse 11, chapter 1 of Ecclesiastes. It reads, And even those who are yet to come will not be remembered by those who follow. The teacher has been talking about the past, and now he turns towards the future. If I can't find any meaning in my past, maybe I can look ahead for something meaningful. But alas, when he looks ahead, the future is just as meaningless as his past. What is the future? The future is a mystery. Yet, if you and I were to have a conversation for 10 or 15 minutes, I could put together an accurate picture of what your future is going to look like. How is that possible? It's because your future is connected by an umbilical cord to your here and now. And you're receiving information and nurture from what is ahead, and simultaneously, you are projecting forward the way your world is going to take shape. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. You need to answer a question. Are you a determinist? A determinist believes we have no choices in life, that everything has already been laid out for us, predetermined by God or predetermined by biology. Uh, all we can do is fall in line with the program. From a theological perspective, this is called hyper-Calvinism or predestination. You don't have a choice whether you're going to heaven or hell. Your eternal destiny has already been predetermined by God. Hmm, and that affects everything that takes place in the here and now. And if such is the case, then there's very little uh, that we can do that really matters because it's already been decided for us. Uh, the meaning of life is to accept your situation and your destination, and that is that. However, I would suggest that even the determinists don't act as though they believe their doctrine is everything that it's wrapped up to be. Because everyone acts as though the future is of vital importance. Now, for an exercise, try not heading too far into the future. Travel just a few hours from now. Think about that function that you've received an invitation to attend. Ask yourself whether the invitation you've received, which is all about the future, ask if that has any effect upon your here and now. Of course it does. Uh, you've got to order your life. You have to make sure your dress is pressed or that you've uh, got the right outfit to wear and your hair is done and your shoes are right and... Uh, all of this is being done for the future, even though it's just a few hours ahead. We think of the future as time, but the future is more than time. The future is a place. It's a place you are heading 
towards. The future is both time and place put together. Your career demands you go to work on Monday. Think of all the organizing that must take place to get you there. You can't go to bed too late on Sunday night and you need to set your alarm. At six o'clock you get out of bed, you shower, you eat your porridge, you get in your car, you negotiate all the traffic and so forth. Always we are working towards our future and that takes effort. Your future must have meaning if you're putting so much effort just to get through today. The most significant investments you make, both in terms of time and money, are designed for a future outcome. Where you go to school and attend university, what are you investing all that time and money in? You're investing it in your future. The greater your perception of where you will be in the future, the more you're willing to invest in the here and now. If you see yourself as a surgeon, then you'll invest all your youth studying to pass the exams. You will say no to many entertainments that other young people are enjoying just so that your future will take a particular shape. So you can be in a particular time and place. So the future must mean something to you. It must have meaning to you now. The future matters. Matter is real substance. The future matters. Everyone acts as if the future matters. Uh, the future matters. It gives your life meaning in the here and now. How? Through introducing change into your life right now. The future changes your life now because the future invades your life today and brings about change. Change is the process by which the future invades our lives. Memory ties you to the past. Spirit-inspired vision points you towards your future. We want to impact the future, not be overwhelmed by it because there, there really is no way of avoiding the future. Many people try to do all kinds of things to avoid the future, but the future is coming no matter what. And so this requires a change in us now, a change of mindset. Uh, we've got to leave our fears aside, leave our traditions behind and be prepared for something new because the future is coming. Think about it. The past is our greatest hindrance to receiving the future that God has waiting for us. There's your wisdom from Ecclesiastes for today. God bless you. Pray that your future will be bright and meaningful and will impact your life in a powerful way today.